Hi guys, my name is Katie, or Katie Does Art, and today I'm going to be modeling um, a knife with you guys. So go ahead and grab a cube. I'm going to be in the modeling menu set. Click on polycube 1, and let's just give us some different dimensions. So I'm going to do 5 by like 0.5. Um, 1's probably good, and then I'm just going to give us some more divisions. You can go ahead and follow along with my divisions over here. Alright, so for this guy, um, I'm going to go ahead and select, let's take um, this top row of vertices, click R and you're going to just scale in. I'm going to move them over so that they are kind of matching up with my line here. I'm also going to go ahead and select this row and then I'm just going to bring them on over like this so that they are matching up and just coming in a bit closer. All right. Just double check that you didn't mess up any symmetry or anything. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is just work on these top vertice lines as well, these little edge loops. So go ahead and select one of the edge loops and then you can scale it by clicking R and just pushing it in. All right, I'm kind of thinking like that's a pretty good shape for my knife actually. So, um, Next thing I want to do is add those like little ridges in it. Oh, first, let's go ahead and scale this guy um, just so that he's not that tall. <laughs> you can go ahead and just click R and scale it. There we go. Select those faces, do extrude, and then just thicken it up. Extrude is um, Control E. And then you can go through and select this edge and do hold shift and double click that next edge, do control B to bevel it. And you can give it two segments just to make it like a little bit more sharp like that as a handle for a knife. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, all right, so I think what I wanna do next is maybe add in like a cylinder um, and then scale it down and move it over. And then I'm gonna see if this is how I wanna do it. I'm not quite sure if this is how I wanna do it. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to um, create the little ridges on a knife with like a series of cylinders or if I want to do it with something else. I haven't quite decided yet because um, I haven't done this yet. I kind of think that we could achieve it with cylinders but it probably wouldn't look as smooth um, so that's why I'm a little hesitant on it. Um, But I think I want, I want to kind of try. So I think what I'm going to do is let's do this method. Um, so you're just going to be basically duplicating the sphere and then moving down or duplicating that cylinder and then moving him down into round to give it those little like beveled edges all that a knife has. So I'm just doing a uh, control D or command D to duplicate it and then just pushing it to wherever it needs to go. Okay, um, there we go. We've got some funny looking little bevels here. Um, if you want to, you can go ahead and select each of those guys and then click R and just bring them in a bit, that way they're not so like intrusive on them. You can scale them down as well. Um, all right, so that's kind of how it's looking now. Um, you can select them all and then you can combine the mesh um, if you want to. And then you can kind of click three to kind of All right, so I'm gonna take those cylinders, and then I'm gonna duplicate them, and then I'm just gonna add some more cylinders, kind of like 
like that just so you get even more kind of on that serrated edge um, I'm kind of feeling like it's a little too wide so I'm just gonna scale those guys down and then you can select all those cylinders and just move them in um, like that all right so that's how it's looking right now you can select all of them and do mesh combine if you want and then you can kind of see how it's oh I see I see All right, so I'm just gonna kind of move some of these around a little bit um, just to kind of make the edge kind of like a little bit more subtle. Um, so just push them in a bit. That way they don't look like super extruded or anything. All right, and then whenever you kind of think that you got a good edge that you like, um, we're gonna select all those cylinders and you're gonna do mesh and then do mesh smooth. And then, let's see, I'm going to give it maybe, I'm going to give it Um, you can go ahead and select on um, these guys, and you can give them all two divisions. Oh, it looks like it only wants you to do two, one at a time, so you just go through and put them all at two. That way they're all, um, you know, more of, an, more of a cylinder so it doesn't come to a sphere. there and then if you are feeling like you want to um, add more of those guys um, you can just duplicate it control D and then just move it around add some more in you know, just wherever you feel like is necessary um, but yeah so next thing Um, I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mess a little bit around with this guy so you'll see that's kind of how it's gonna smooth out a bit when it comes to it it's got a little serrated edge and then you can mess around with these guys a little bit um, to even them out um, so real quick I want to go ahead and select this edge and that bottom edge and then do control V to bevel that and then you can give it two segments um, just so it comes to a little bit of more of a point um, that looks good all right and then you can look at it in object mode and you can scale anything around kind of as necessary um, if you don't like how these guys sometimes poke out the top you can scale them down um, so that way they don't poke out of the top as much or just move them further to the edge so that you don't see them poking through the mesh as much um, But yeah, okay, so last thing you just need to do is um, Go ahead and combine them So you can just select them all like this and do mesh combine so that they're all one mesh um, So yeah, that's about it um if you guys have any questions, uh, totally feel free to let me know. Um, but that's just like a super simple knife. Um, if you ever need to like have one modeled really easily, um, just like sit on a table, um, you know, not extremely detailed, really easy to make. Um, obviously not extremely accurate, but it's easy to make in like five minutes. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, don't feel afraid to leave a comment below. I'm always here for you guys if you need anything at all. And I will see you guys next time um, for whatever we're creating next. Bye guys.